Hi friends and welcome back to a video here on my channel. I was planning on posting another video before this one. I just haven't gotten around to do it, but I will post it soon after this. It is stuff I made in 2023, so I need to get that up because it's like not really relevant anymore. No one cares anymore. <laughs> Today, I have some fun news for you. All of you Chanel lovers and all of you Amigurumi lovers or whatever, plushie makers, sensory seekers, I don't know. I got an email from Hobie uh, a few days ago that said that they have a new Chanel yarn. And I am very excited about it. They now have three different types of Chanel yarn on their website or three different types of chenille yarn under their name. They have Baby Snuggle, they have Honey Bunny, and now they have Toucan. I actually don't know why they have three different ones because they are pretty much identical to each other. My theory is that it has to do with them wanting different color variations and they have to use different like factories or manufacturers, whatever. And because of that, they can't put it under the same name. But I'm unsure, that's just my theory. I'm planning on sending them an email about it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I plan on doing a lot of things that I just don't do, but you know, I'm used to it. You just have to get used to it too. But I am very curious and I will probably send them an email and ask them. And if I get an answer and if I get some information about that, I will pin it in a comment down below so you can get the answers too. I also ordered some other stuff. I haven't actually bought yarn in like over half a year, which is very, very good. Thank you, thank you. And side note, this is not sponsored. This is not a collaboration with Hobie. This is not gifted, none of it. I have bought this yarn with my own money. It's simply because I buy all of my yarn from Hobie. Like, literally all of my yarn is from there. So I'm gonna show you the other stuff I got too, just a quick little haul. We first have some Go Handmade Happy Chunky Fine. I believe this is Kiwi Green. I have used this yarn, um, but the thickest version and made a blanket of it but i have seen that people use this specific one and this specific size for amigurumi and um i haven't even thought of it for some reason but i've been tempted to try it because i'm always looking for new types of um material and i feel like this could be very very nice this is just a very lovely yarn i really love the blanket i made out of this so i really recommend it if you are looking for a good blanket yarn we'll see if i like it for amigurumi too i'm very excited to try it out i then have two skeins of friends cotton 88 this friends cotton and rainbow cotton are my favorite cotton yarns they have very very nice colors and they are just so easy to work with they're like super smooth and nice uh, almost a bit buttery <laughs> if that makes any sense i'm excited to make myself a little yeti i have also gotten myself a new crochet hook this is a duo touch crochet hook one thing that is very important for me when it comes to crochet hooks is that they're ergonomic in some way and this looks very nice and very promising. Uh, it's a 4.5 millimeter. This is what I use for my Chanel project. It calls for a six or seven millimeter hook, but I tend to crochet pretty loose. So I have to size down quite a lot and this works the best for me. It's actually longer than the hook I normally use. The length of the hook itself is a tiny bit longer on the new one. I'm feeling that this is very good for people who do pen style when they crochet. Next up, we have some stitch markers. I feel like I buy stitch markers quite often because I lose them and also because I need so many of them. I rely a lot on stitch markers. Stitch markers is the most beautiful thing we have on this planet. These are actually smaller than I thought they were gonna be, but I probably could have read that in the description. I just didn't, I didn't really bother. But they are so cute and I am sure I will use them in some way. All right. It's time to get into the toucan yarn. Ding! We have number, let's see, color 18. I think this is called Violet, if I remember correctly. This is a 100% polyester yarn. It's 100 grams. It's 120 meters, super bulky weight. Calls for a six millimeter needle and 
a 7mm crochet hook but as I said earlier I normally use 4.5 with these so it really depends on your attention. This one is number 18 violet. Uh, I was hoping that this was gonna be like a lighter purple than baby snuggles purple. I felt like the baby snuggle purple is very dark. I just want something that is just purple and I kind of feel like this is just purple but when I compare it to the baby snuggle purple they're pretty much the same color so I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like violet is a little bit darker in real life than it is on the website. Next up we have this beauty. I am so obsessed with this color. It's so cute. This is number 22 light turquoise. I would say that this is definitely darker in real life than it is in the photo. Like it's a light turquoise, you kind of know what you're expecting. It's definitely a light turquoise, but it's it's slightly darker in real life. Then we have this one. This came without a label. And I actually, I thought it had just fallen off in the bag, but there is nothing in the bag. There is nothing attached to another yarn or nothing like that. I think it might have fallen off when they packed it, which is a bit interesting. This is... Uh, color 12 lavender when I saw this color I got so happy because this is just like exactly what I've been looking for in my little pastel color collections because this works so well with like all the pastel colors it's just gonna look so cute with like every color this is a little bit more purple in real life than it is on the website on the website I feel like it's a lot more pink this is baby snuggles pastel purple I'm not sure if that's what the name actually is but just to get a comparison um how purple it is only a, a purple pink color it's lavender <laughs> that's what it is it's just interesting that it came without a label <laughs> next up we have mint and this one is a little bit interesting to me because when i saw this on the website i got so excited because it looked like a pastel green and for those of you who shop chenille yarn from hobie you probably know that they do not have a pastel green color in any of their chenille yarns and well, it's been a bit of a struggle to me because i love making frogs and pastel green frogs is just superior like i don't know what to tell you when this arrived and i saw that it is literally mint I was a little bit disappointed. I feel like on the website it looks more green. Uh, this is color 27 mint. So the name is mint, so it makes sense that it's mint. <laughs> uh, this also feels a little bit different from the rest. I could even say that this is almost pretty close to what the happy chunky feels. Saying it doesn't feel like velvety as the rest. I feel like this one is pretty matte and a little bit different in its texture so that's very interesting. I think sometimes different colors turn out a little bit different in texture. I don't really know why that is but I think it has something to do with what dye you use etc etc. Next up we have this dark blue. This is color 25 in navy blue. If I were to compare it on the website I feel like it's a bit more it's almost a bit more blue in real life. It looks a bit more green toned in the picture but it's nothing noticeable. Next up we have ding ding, cotton candy. This is color 16 cotton candy. It's definitely a cotton candy like bubblegummy cotton candy color. Um, I really like this. This is very beautiful and I'm so excited to have colors that are like they are pastel but they are not super super light. I think it's just gonna look so good on my little market tables like all the colors because I normally just use pastel colors. It's just gonna look so cute together with everything else. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see everything together like it's just gonna be satisfying to look at. And last but not least we have their baby pink. This is color 11 light pink. I actually didn't need a light pink. I have light pink in both Honey Bunny and Baby Snuggle so I wanted to compare it with Toucan and see what the difference in shade is. I find it pretty interesting that when I ordered Honey Bunny for the first time and I got their light pink 
color I think is called hint of pink I noticed that it actually like falls apart so much easier than any other color that I've ever had in both honey bunny and baby snuggle and it's actually been really difficult to work with so I've been a little bit scared that this was gonna be the same but it doesn't seem like it so that was the little haul so it's time to compare two cans light pink with Baby Snuggle and Honey Bunny. All right, so welcome to my desk. We have the three skins here. We have the Toucan, we have Baby Snuggle, and we have Honey Bunny. So they're all the light pink. They have different names, but it's the only light pink they have. So you, you'll figure it out. <laughs> um, there is definitely a difference in shade, but I would say the Baby Snuggle is definitely the coldest one out of them and the honey bunny is the warmest one. I would say that the toucan one is in the middle somewhere. I would say that it's the lightest one out of the three. One of the issues I had with the honey bunny yarn was when I got it, I realized that this one just falls apart. <laughs> And this is something that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to chenille yarn in general, but I have never experienced it this bad. Normally you can just like light it on fire a little bit so you kind of melt it down, but it hasn't even helped. <laughs> it's fine to crochet with the honey bunny, but if you have to unravel it or if you have to sew on details with this, you're gonna hate your life. So I would not do that. I think I might have bought another skin of this. I actually cannot remember if it was the same or if it was different, but all I know is that I've had a much easier time working with Baby Snuggle than Honey Bunny. Let me know if you have used the Honey Bunny Light Pink. I think this one is called the Hint of Pink. I'm gonna show you guys the comparison with the Baby Snuggle. As you can see, I'm gonna pull this now. It doesn't really come off like only at the bottom this one is not difficult to sew details with so i normally use this one for blush even though i would like to use this one for blush because this one has a warmer tone so let's see if toucan is more like baby snuggle or more like honey bunny this is definitely <laughs> better okay it's not really coming off. This one is actually better than both of them, but I would say this is closer to Baby Snuggle than the Honey Bunny. Very big difference in <laughs> in how these two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're getting a light pink, I would definitely recommend getting Toucan or Baby Snuggle from what I know, which I think is a little bit sad because I really like the tone of this pink, but hopefully it was just a bad batch. I will have to order another skein and see if it's better. Working with the Toucan yarn was actually more different than I thought it was going to be. I really thought that it was going to have the same velvety feeling as the Honey Bunny and Baby Snuggle do, but it's actually a lot more matte and it's different to work with. It's a bit more squeaky on the hook, which I never experienced with Honey Bunny, for example. So I wanted to see if it was any different working with another color, since I mentioned that the mint color was more matte. It was a little bit shinier and smoother, but I still think it is a big difference. You can't really tell when you compare the finished product, so I really don't think you're gonna notice a difference if you're mixing Baby Snuggle with Toucan in the same project, but I would say that you might actually notice a little bit of a difference when you're working with it. So a quick little summary of my first impression of the Toucan yarn. I'm always excited to see new yarn from Hobie and I'm always excited to see Chenille yarn. The colors are so nice. I think there are 34 colors. I think that it's a very good color variety. They look similar enough to the photos on the website. It's like one thing you have to know when you order things from online, especially yarn, is that the color is never gonna be the exact same as you see on the website. But I think that they are definitely close enough and uh, I wouldn't have reacted to any of it if it wasn't that I was really comparing it <laughs> 
for the sake of this video. But the only one that I did react to was the mint. The mint was definitely different from what I saw on the website. I really did react on that we got a light green yarn. Then I read that the name was mint and I was like, hmm... Okay, well, it might not actually be light green, I guess. That was a little bit disappointing because I was really hoping we were gonna get a light green. I don't understand why we do not have a light green yet. We really need some. Please, Hobie, just please, <laughs> please. Uh, in comparison, this is the light green that I normally use. And if you put them side by side, you can definitely tell that this toucan yarn is mint. <laughs> the texture of all of them uh, feels great. It feels similar to Honey Bunny and Baby Snuggle. There is no difference except once again for the mint. I don't know why this guy is so different but there is something going on with this one. It's not something negative. I don't think you would notice a difference in texture if you worked with like the light pink and this. You wouldn't be able to tell. I am looking for things to talk about so <laughs> other than that I'm really happy. I will definitely be ordering more to can yarn um for sure i know that already i'm just so excited we have more colors and especially more like pastel-y tones so thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, as i said i will have a video up soon where i show stuff i made in 2023 so once again if you have any video suggestions if there's something specific you would like to see on here please let me know please leave a comment so the other people can leave a little thumbs up if you're also interested uh, I have some ideas myself, so I'm gonna get to that too. Thank you once again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!